On Monday, we found out that the U.S. has been in a recession since at least early March, but Japan's economy shrank less than initially estimated in the first quarter due to surprisingly strong business investment. Regardless, analysts warn the latest revised figures likely offer a distorted view of the economy's health. Welcome to the Tick Mill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be looking at the euro area's GDP, Australia's consumer confidence index, and China's inflation rate. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair, which finally reached the all-important resistance level that we've been watching out for at 0.70 on Monday, and then finally saw a bit of a pullback as the level resisted further gains. This level marks the beginning of the pair's massive drops back in December and has acted as a resistance and a support level multiple times in the past. So breaking above it immediately could be tough for the bulls. Regardless, this is certainly a victory for the Aussie dollar, and while we could see a temporary consolidation or even a pullback towards 0.67, chances are the doors could soon be open for even more gains towards 0.74 and 0.79 respectively in the medium term. Will you be trading the Aussie dollar pair anytime soon? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.